In this video, we're going to tell you how you can do unlimited chest farms in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So if you want to farm chests repeatedly, there's one place to do it. It's the river raids. So there's six different raiding rivers, and you can alternate between those rivers as you wish. But you don't even need to alert the rivers to farm the minor chests. If you're not into getting more foreign supplies, say you've like maxed out your Yom's Viking hut or something like that, but you need a lot of iron and leather and you could also use some major runes, then farming chests in the river raids is a great way to go. You know, is it faster than, you know, farming leather, iron separately in the game? It's probably about the same, but you also get those runes and you also get a lot of silver doing it. So on balance, I think it's a decent way to go if you want to get the materials you need for upgrading armor and weapons. So what is the best way to do this? I would say don't alert the river. Only go to settlement locations. Don't bother with main bases. And those settlements are so small, they've got like three guards. Don't call your Yom's Vikings, because that, that'll alert the river. And only uh, go for the minor chests, not the major chests. The, the major chests and settlements are actually just, are just provisions anyways, or rations. So they're not even worth getting uh, for the amount that they raise the river alert level. And then just keep on going to every little settlement on the raid and you know i think you can do all those fairly quickly and each chest gives you about uh 70 to 80 iron and leather each and one out of two one out of three gives you a major rune so in terms of finding where the chests are in the settlements i would just look on the map and if it doesn't have the barrel icon and you get a yellow thing you want to navigate to that and that's the chest that you want to get you don't you don't want to go for the barrel chests which are either foreign supplies or rations you want to go for the the chests that have iron leather and sometimes runes so that's kind of equivalent to uh farming chests in you know power level 200 180 regions the chests in kind of higher power level if you go up to like 330 or something are closer to 160 but there aren't many of those regions and it's easy to get rid of all those chests so alternative iron farms uh there's this peninsula within england that you just go down the peninsula i was getting 300 iron doing it and it took me about 10 minutes but you're just getting iron there and you're also not getting any runes and you're not getting any silver there's also these boars in southeastern England, across from the Isle of Wight, in the woods there by this tree with all these like Roman artifacts on it. And there's a ton of those boars. There's like a dozen or more of them. And I think you can get something like uh, 400, 500 leather farming those boars. And, you know, for those farmings, uh, as opposed to the river raids, because you have six rivers, you can just keep on alternating, uh, that you have to do a few fast travels. People have said the save and reload did not work for me for the save and reload. But you, if you go away for a while, it should respawn, and you can do that run, whether with the boars or with the, the obsidian mounds on that peninsula in northern England. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel. We give you the secrets to crush Assassin's Creed Valhalla.